White to D4. Black to F5. White to G3. Knight to F6. Bishop to G2. Black. You okay there? G6. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. But what's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got a... I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? We'll see. All right, girl. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while. Ben managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back then? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, 
I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. So just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. They ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots, which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. Let's go, Arthur. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Miss. Oh. Oh, thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! 
Mom, Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brew got Oh, my darling. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is death. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back you and you. drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I need your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You betrayed so now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, Your Majesty. You. Damn. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. All right. Get back to work. Yeah. Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. Good morning. God damn you. Murderer. Murderer! I did what I had to do, Mr. Morgan. Perhaps. Dear sir, 
You were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully... Penelope Braithwaite. Get in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, 
Let me get you a little bit more energy today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. So, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey. We didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Uh oh, Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard? Ah, Mrs. Adler! It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well. It's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above! Or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, 
Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, pull on that rope and hope for the best. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Please hurry. That ain't John. I can't believe we're doing this. Looks like it. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Oh, my God. Picking up. We should stay at this altitude, it's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well. It's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this.
This ain't over yet. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation's really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston! You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll land the boat in the morning when the prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot to look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put 
the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> now, take up this! <sighs> you always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move! I'll roll! You shoot! Seriously? Let me! You... you're a better shot! All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off! I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? Hey, uh, that still don't seem real somehow. All them years, Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, uh, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ran at us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, 
Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. He said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. To me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. That... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Problem, partner. You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. 
but revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No voice! Whoa. We 
You all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Anita to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. <coughs> Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. 
he and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the Army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. His men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Pull up alongside, quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Well, he is a wise man, but you know... Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. 
And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combe's dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit! Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> a pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. So. Wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs>
to get you out of. <gasps> What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Comb hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out, you know. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> the 
stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that we horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So... They got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. It is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Cole Modriscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from Sandinia a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and I promise there will be no recurrence. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter either, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur... 
Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams when I read about your recent activities in the newspaper. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we're apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I am so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago, when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you'll find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. Okay, they've passed the first chart. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! You fools, you damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. 
I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. I have a bad feeling about it. He said nobody would be killed. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. We're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... This ain't how we do things. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! There's too many! Run! Get moving! Stay there! This is it! This... Well... Arthur... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Oh. Um. I know, but a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell them. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sorry, this ain't a good time for me. I already got more problems than I can handle. Of course. Uh, not to worry. I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. 
So back to what you were saying. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of... pain, I guess. I had to... I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your ang anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. Yeah! I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. What's happened? No! It can't be. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These. Brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. What's that? Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself.
He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like you're stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge... We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. OK, good. I need some help down here. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Shit, I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Faster! Get ready to jump! It's right on! problem that just ain't how I want to die come on let's go blow this thing up um I think the line held you want the honors sure I 
guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. Do you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. You know, I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for a silly idea. It don't even exist. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You need cash. You got a family. I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I am starting to see things clearly now. And I ain't being taken for a fool no more. Now get out of here. 